Hello and welcome to this video is Leonard here again from datalearner.com and in today's video tutorial we are going to look at how to bind your robot via API using the Wobi exchange. So this video is all about Wobi API binding with the prime board robot. So in order to do that, it is already assumed that you already have an account with this. But if you don't have an account already, link will be in the video description to sign up for an account. It actually costs 150 USDT to activate um, this robot for a year. But my team and I are going to do that for you for just 50 USDT to try out this for a whole year. So all you just need to do is sign up for an account with the link in the video description then send us a dm on whatsapp and then we can activate your bot for you um but with that being said if you are new to this channel if this is the first time of seeing my videos and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing to be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like these are published on this channel when it comes to binding api uh, binding um, who will be exchanged with the robot um, is a bit tricky because Huobi doesn't give you the um, permission to create API via the app. I know a lot of you will have the mobile app already on your phone, but you cannot activate or create API using that mobile app that you are using, whether it is for iPhone or for Android. So what we need to do is to log into the website directly via a browser. So to do that, let me just minimize this. I'll go ahead and open up my Chrome browser. So once I open up my Chrome browser, I have logged into my account already. But in your own case, you will need to first, before you actually log into your account, what you need to do is once you open it, it will open the mobile version of it on the browser. Even on the browser, it's going to open the mobile version of it. So what you want to do is, I am using the Chrome browser, but whatever browser you're using, there should be an option like this three dots you're seeing at the top right hand side here. This three dots you're seeing, that is what you want to look for. You go ahead and click on that option and when you click on that option this will pop up so you want to make sure that in your own case this is checked and uh, let me just use the arrow and show you that make sure that this is checked this one where it says desktop site you, you want to change it to from mobile version of it to desktop site so make sure that this is checked once this is checked you go ahead um the website will go ahead and load up and it will give you this version of the website uh, because things here are very tiny, you will need to zoom out very well um, to be able to see what is here. So you will need, once you log in, just zoom out everything and you'll be able to see. So I'll keep zooming out until we can see this very well. This is what I we are going to click on. So once you change it to desktop side, zoom out and click on this profile icon here. So if I go ahead and click on that profile icon, you see this will drop down. So I'll go ahead and zoom out again. And then once this drop down, we want to go ahead and click on this where it says API management. That is what we want to click on. So I'll go ahead and click on API management. And once you click on API management, um, this will come up um, right here. So this will come up. And what we want to do here is to go ahead and create API where it says create API. So you go ahead and, you know, before you create the API, you can go ahead and give it permissions here. Um, before you actually create the API, this is where you, the way it says note, where it says note, you are going to label your API and then go ahead and check this. Make sure that the trait, this is the permission you are giving to, as you can see, where it says permission setting here. So this is the permission you are giving to the robot. You are not giving it permission to withdraw. Moreover, the robot doesn't have access to your phones. Your phones are saved with your exchange. Whatever exchange you are using, your phones are saved with that exchange. So everything, the robot only uses this API to do the trading on your behalf. But you, in order for it to work, you will need to give it this permission of this trade. So make sure that this is checked. And once that is checked, you want to go ahead and label it by using this node where it says node. You want to go ahead and label it. What do you want to call your API? You go ahead and create it there. And after that, you go ahead and click on create so after you've labeled it and you've checked the tweet where it says uh bind ip address and the rest you don't really need to put anything here just click on this tweet um to give you the permission to trade label it after labeling it you go ahead and create on create api and you just follow based on the uh, um, verification that you use 
you just go ahead and do that so um for this let me just go ahead and say api api1 and then go ahead and check this to give you that permission and i'll go ahead and click on create then when you click on create i will need to zoom out again because there is a notification somewhere here uh -huh. so rigs they are telling you the rigs so all you just need to do is to check this and check this and check all of it and then you can now click on i understand so you go ahead and click on i understand and they will say that the verification code has been sent to your email so i'll just go ahead and open up my email to open up that um will be let me just refresh this Um, I didn't receive that, so let me go on here and um, click to resend. Alright, it has been resend, so if I come back here again, let me, alright, so this is the verification code that is sent here, so just go ahead and click on the code to copy it. And once you copy up that code, you come in here to paste the code. So let's just go ahead and paste this here. Make sure you click and hold when you see the paste option go ahead and select it and then go ahead and click on confirm and once you click on confirm this is your api key this is your api key and your secret key so this has been created successfully so we'll go ahead and copy the secret key first and don't use the back button please don't go ahead and use your back button to actually this back button you're seeing here don't go ahead and use it and let this be open just minimize this and go ahead and open up your prime board once you open up the prime board once you're on the prime board you want to go ahead and click on api here so you want to click on api go ahead and click that and um, once you click on api this opens up so you want to select the exchange that you want to bind if it is the binance or the ob you go ahead and select it so once you select the one you want to bind um, it will open up the api page where you can paste your um what's it called where you can paste your keys there so here you have access key let's copy that again let me go back this we have uh, access key so go ahead and copy the access key and come in here to where it says access key click and hold to paste then you go back to the secret key this is the secret key so you go ahead and copy that so i'll come back here again and then click on the secret key click and hold to paste and after you've done this you want to go ahead and check this make sure you check this and after that you go ahead and click on submit and this api key will be binded to your robot successfully and once that is binded you can now have access to start trading with this um, option you can now have access to start trading with um, the bot so once you do that the next thing you want to do is let me just go back to the home page so once i'm here on the home page the next thing you want to do is to come in here to where it says order and click on it once you click on order you can now go ahead and start carrying out any trade that you want to trade i, I do send out some pairs so you can just go ahead and start taking those trades so here you just come in here and you know select these are the pairs you can trade once you bind it you will see your balance from the Huobi will be once you have a balance in USDT to be reflecting here with this it means that you have successfully bind it and you can now go ahead and carry out some of this trade on um, the platform and you can start making profit from this robot so that is it for this video but before then I'll just go ahead because I just created this API as a demo so I just go ahead and close this and then I will delete that API I created this is the second one here which is this API one so to delete this i'll just come in here to the settings i'll come in here to the end once i scroll down here i'll go ahead and click on delete and zoom back again okay it has not been deleted so go ahead and click on delete so i'll uh, okay let me zoom back here a little go ahead and click on delete so once i click on delete i'll just confirm it on the screen here and that will be successfully deleted i still have my original 
but yeah my original api i still have it there so that is it for this video guys i have showed you how to bind this and how to create the api make sure that you go to your to the version of your to the desktop version of the browser i'm using your phone browser and then create the api bind it up with this um, particular robot and then you can start giving it a try and once again if you want to activate this robot instead of paying 150 usdt to use this for a year we can do it for you for just 50 usdt just follow the links in the video description sign up for Wobi account sign up for binance sign up for the robot and then send us a dm and we'll see how we can help you activate this bot so that is it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up that way you encourage me to make more free videos like this i'll see you in the next video